A movie out this week called Only the Brave tells the story of the Yarnell Hill 19, hotshot firefighters who died in Arizona four years ago when their emergency fire shelters failed in the 2000 degree heat. Did they deploy, they say? Yeah. That horrible tragedy was the inspiration for NASA and the U.S. Forest Service to work on a shelter improvement using space age technology. If you think of the space shuttle on re-entry and the heat that it has to withstand in our atmosphere, that's the same kind of technology they're using to try to improve these shelters. I talked to the NASA thermal scientist who is testing these up in Canada this week. Where the current fire shelter has a weakness is when those flames contact the shelter directly. And that mode of heat transfer shifts from predominantly radiant to predominantly convective. And that means the energy is transferring by means of the hot gases of the fire directly touching the shelter material itself. Josh Fody is a thermal engineer for NASA. He and a team of NASA scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Forestry to develop a more durable, protective shelter. Uh, so what we were hoping to do, and I think we've been pretty successful at this point, is use some of the concepts and some of the tricks that we've learned in the past 12 or 13 years of developing uh, flexible heat shield materials for inflatable decelerators. The technology involves intumescent graphite or flakes of graphite that expand in heat. So you can pack this tiny little shelter around all day long and it doesn't take so much volume up, but then when you really need it to turn into a big puffy blanket, uh, it does so right at the perfect moment, and that's when it's exposed to heating. Foti and his team are in Canada this week testing the shelters at a U.S. forest agency partner facility. And while scientists aren't usually the excitable type, Foti is very optimistic. We have five failure criterion, and we never reached any of those five failure criterion in that full two minutes that the test rig could be turned on to. By best guess, if you could extrapolate beyond that two minutes, I would say we probably are somewhere on the order of twice the duration of the current fire shelter as far as survivability goes. While the new shelters won't be available for this year's already devastating fire season, NASA and the Forest Service expects to begin distribution of the new shelters sometime next year. I'm Christina Mendonca.